Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here with yet another Firewall Zero Hour video. Today is the 18th of December, the date that DLC number 3 will be dropping. However, the update has not yet gone live. It looks like it's going to be going by American time, so that means it won't be out for a few hours yet. But there are some things about the update that I wanted to talk about. So over on the PS blog, Shabs made a blog post detailing the updates and DLC 3. Now most of this we already knew so I skipped down to the stuff where he details some of the improvements that are going to be made to the game. So the first one is that there's going to be a way to deal with the AFK players as we already knew but the second one is that voice chats will continue during loading screens. So this was something that was pretty annoying since launch. You know when you're chatting away and then a loading screen pops up and the person talking gets cut off for a few seconds before being able to be heard again however when i went back to check the ps blog post again the post was edited and that point was replaced with a different fix and so then i went over to reddit's or slash firewall zero hour where i saw a post talking about this particular fix slash improvement and there was a comment there from a firewall developer named andrew so i'll put his comment up on the screen and we'll read it just a heads up the voip while loading into maps feature had to be temporarily shelved at the last minutes literally due to an annoying infrequent bug that we have to knock out before it can go out to the real world. But fear not, it is very much on the front burner for early next year. Sorry for the delay, but it's coming real soon. So while this has been delayed, and that is a bit disappointing, it still looks like it'll be arriving early 2019, which isn't too bad. At least we know it's on the way, which is very nice. So what did they replace that bullet point with, you may be wondering? Well, they've added that the Taylor CQB variant will be changing from a three burst fire to fully auto fire, which I'm happy about personally. It means that the two tailors will feel more unique from each other now and it breathes some new life into one of the original weapons. The final bullet point they mention is one that I found very surprising. It is the addition of contractor eye movement in the lobby. Now that sounds kind of random but there have been times where I've zoomed in on the eyes of my contractor and they've looked kind of like they're painted on. So now that they're going to be animated it might be one of those small touches that makes the game feel a bit more realistic so I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks. So one more thing that I want to point out is that there is now a free firewall zero hour static theme on the PS store. At least it's out in the EU store anyway. It has some nice custom music and icons and it has a really nice transition from the bottom bar to the top bar. I might just record some of this and have it on the screen for you now so that you know what I mean. Also, the 2018 bobble was available for me to download for free, and you can too, as long as you're a PS Plus member, which you probably are if you're playing this game. And with that, I will end this video, lads and ladies. I was hoping to be playing the new map by now and streaming it, but it looks like it might drop while I'm at work, so it could be around 11 p.m. my time before I'm streaming that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please consider doing all the usual moist shite, and I'll see you in Greenland. Bye for now.